Louis, congratulations on signing your new deal. How does it feel to have committed your long-term future to Hull City? Amazing. Um, I brought the family along today just because that's sort of that's that's what it means to me. That's the level in in which I feel that this day for me brings. Um, I wanted my family here. Um, it's a club that I'm unbelievably proud to be a part of and, and to commit my long-term future here is again something that I'm I'm really really proud of. The club activated the one-year option on your contract, but how nice is it to have that security and clarity over your future? Yeah, of course. It's it's been something we've discussed for for a little while now, um, and and as soon as the club made it clear that they they wanted me part of their their future plans and and they wanted me to be a key part in in hopefully what's going to be a successful sort of run moving forward, and I, I made it clear to my people that, that there's only one club I want to be at, and and hopefully we can get all the the finer details sorted out, and and let's sort of get focused on 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 getting this football club back to where I feel like it should be. What were those conversations like with Liam and and Tan? Yeah, again, they, they was very clear and, and very honest with me from, from day one in terms of that they wanted me at this football club. Um, of course, in, in football, in, in any walk of life, in walk of life sorry, there's, there's all the ins and outs and, and all the sort of small, small detail that needs to be ironed out. But we're here now, I've, I've signed my long-term future to this football club. And again, it's something I'm, I'm really, really excited about and really proud of. You're from the city, you're the club captain as well. What does it mean to represent Hull City? It means everything. Um, I just had a conversation with you down there, Dan, about the first time I signed and I had my two brothers there that time. And, and again, I was unbelievably honoured and, and privileged that time round. But this time feels a little bit more special. Um, again, more so because I've got my little son here with me. I've got my, my girlfriend also. Um, and, and I spoke about it earlier. It was a year, three days ago since my dad passed. Um, and obviously here I am now sort of securing my long-term future to this football club and, and if he is somewhere I feel like he had a hand in it that he sort of helped me helped me across the line and, and get this deal done. So again, timing's everything and, and yeah, the fact that it was uh, nearly a year ago, or sorry, just over a year since since Dad passed that, I'm, I'm sat here now sort of securing my long-term future with a football club that I'm extremely proud to be a part of. It was around a year ago that you appointed club captain of Hull City. How have you found that responsibility over the last 12 months? I've really enjoyed it, Dan. Um, I feel it's a responsibility that I was more than ready for, and obviously that was noticed by the people in charge at the time. And I think also to be to be recognised by by the gaffer himself and and the people at the football club to to be sort of continuing to be to be club captain again. It's an amazing achievement and and something that I hold very very dear to me. We know you wear the armband on the pitch, but what does being captain entail, as well as on the pitch in the dressing room as well? The number of things, I think it's about knowing each and each and every one of your teammates inside out and I think that's sort of a job that is, is maybe sort of looked past sometimes. People just see a leader on the pitch and screaming and shouting but you have to know the lads, you have to know what each one of them needs and not always in terms of football. I think sometimes everybody goes through through struggles in life and, and struggles away from the place and I think it's, it's sort of getting to know the people, getting to know their families and, and just giving them that little bit of reassurance they might need or it might be something completely different but as long as I'm there as a figure that they feel they can come to on and off the pitch and sort of inside the training ground, inside the stadium, away from the place, then I feel that's really important to, to having the togetherness that I feel we have in this group. You've been here three years now, promotion your first season, survival in the second, consolidation mid-table last season. How would you sum up your time here so far? Again, I, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I, I think I said in my first interview for the club, I wanted promotions on my CV, and, and that happened in the first in the first season back. Um, or oh, sorry, first season with with the club. Um, again, the, the two seasons in the championship, I feel we can certainly kick on from. Um, that first season back in the championship was tough, um, but again, last year I think we've shown signs that it's really exciting times for the football club, and I feel like now. Um, and certainly for me personally, with this this new contract, we, we have one aim in that in that time frame to, to get the club back to where where I feel it belongs. How do you feel you have grown over the last three years? Yeah, I, f I feel I've grown as um, as a player and as a person. Um, it's it's part of growing up in not just in football in life. I'm 27 years of age now. I feel like I'm in a good spot in terms of my football. I feel like I've progressed a lot under the under the new gaffer. Um, you get to a stage where you think I'm too old to learn, but I've learned probably more in the last year, or certainly since since the gaffer came in, than than I have done in a, in a number of years, um, and that's exciting for me because I think sometimes you get to a stage where you think is this is this sort of where I'm at, but it, it's exciting to think where where we could all be as a group and and, wh and where I think we're heading. The gaffer has always been very complimentary about yourself, both as a leader in the dressing room and your qualities on the pitch. How has he been able to improve your game? 
I just think again, I've said it a number of times, I think his attention to detail stuck out from me from, from the first time I met him. Um, and I think the fact that he is so attentive on them small details, it it, it makes you pay attention and, and you have to buy into what he does. Um, and he said, listen lads, like, trust trust the process and, and I will take you places that you probably never thought you could go. Um, so I think the big thing was buying in at first, all of us as a group. And I feel now we have, and, and again, that, especially that back end of the season, that chunk of games, I think it was clear for everybody to see how far we've come in such a short space of time. What does he want from you moving forward? Where does he see your improvement? I think I think he wants us all to have more belief, um, individually and, and collectively. I think he said the stuff we showed him in the short space of time he was with us was clear to him that, that we're an amazing group, we're a good group and, and we're a group that's willing to learn. But I think he said you need to show that little bit of belief and a bit more a bit more of a killer instinct in in certain games and, and even in training every day he wants he wants more standards from us. He wants us to, to demand more from each other. Um, not in a, in a nasty, aggressive way, just in a way that we all have to respect and we all have to sort of we all have to set um, set our standards to a certain level. And I think if we all we all make a commitment that that's the bare minimum, then I feel like we'll be in a good spot. You had strong competition from Cyrus Christie last season. How much are you relishing that challenge again for the right back berth? Yeah, of course. I think I think I I perform better when I have when I have strong, healthy competition. And Cyrus was fantastic. He 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 was amazing when he came in. His stats were through the roof and. And, and he probably gave me that push I need. Um, obviously got back in in the end. Unfortunately for Sai, he picked up an injury, but which allowed me a run of games. Um, but I think in any in any team, in any successful team, certainly you need you need competition for spots. And again, that's something I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge and I'm looking forward to winning my shirt. No one could ever question your commitment to this football club. Last season, though, you took it to a whole new level by playing with cracked ribs for the final third of that season. How are you physically now? Yeah, no, I'm I'm good as gold. I think I think you know me by now. I'm, I never want to shout it from the rooftops, but that's football. Um, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm paid to play football, and I'm I'm paid to do a job physically. Um, and if I can get through games, whether that be with the odd injury here and there, then then so be it. So, but I, I I'd like to think I represent this football club in the right way, and the football club certainly represented me. So the least I can do is is roll my sleeves up and, um, and make sure I'm fit to be on that pitch. Pre-season training is on the horizon. How much are you looking forward to getting back to the training ground and uh, on the pitch with the boys? Yeah, of course. I think sometimes when, when you speak to people pre-season, it's like, oh, we've got all this running, we've got this, that and the other. But we've had a nice break this time round. We've had, I think, nearly seven weeks or maybe just over. And I think I'm certainly at a stage now where I'm itching to get back. I'm itching to see the lads. I've not seen a lot of them for for the summer period. Um, I'm sure everybody's been spending time with the families and, and having a nice time and that, that rest that we need. But I think that rest allows you to, to get that sort of bit between your teeth again and, and be looking forward to the new season and, and looking forward to cracking on. And finally, what are your hopes for the next three years? I hope that I'm, I'm captain of this football club in the Premier League and I'll, I'll be as bold as that and say it. I think the gaff has certainly made me believe a lot more in, in what we can potentially achieve with this group. I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Um, there's a whole another number of teams trying to do the exact same thing, but I'd like to think by the end of this, this new contract that the club's in a very good spot and, and we're in that league we believe we should be in.